Here we are, Seaside High School, second game of a double header. Scott Gil Kilgore pitching for Tillamook. At two outs, top of the first. Tommy Adams up. And Tommy Adams strikes out. Three up, three down. Bottom the first. Coming up. Score. Seaside zero. Tillmuck coming up to bat. Okay, here we are in the top and bottom half of the first inning. Jeff Blitz is picking, pitching for the uh, Seaside Seagulls. First batter for Tillamook is Tim Zerker. First pitch to Timmy Zerker's down and away. Ball one. Ball two inside. We're on the air, baby. Hmm? We're on the air. <laughs> Ball three inside. Listen, it comes side on for strike one. Counts three balls, one strike. Bottom the first. Score. Seaside zero. Someone up a bat. Circuit hit the ball. Foul down the first baseline. Got a jam that time. Full count. And Timmy swings and misses. Strike three. One out. Bottom the first. Better now is Chris Johnson playing shortstop. Strike one. Blissett comes sidearm, a little outside, one ball, one strike. Chris Johnson hits the ball well, left fielder feels it, base it.
Runner on first. Batter now is Eric Cooley pitched the first game. Eric hit a three-run, two-run home run in the first game. Batting third in this game and playing catcher. Is there any way you can play that back to what I sound like? That was loud or noisy? What it huh? Does it sound okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Strike one. Blissett comes sidearm, and Eric fouls it back over the screen. Blissett goes to first. Chris is back in easy. Ooh, ball inside. One ball, one strike. Oh. Eric swings. Eric swings the ball in the dirt. Ball goes behind the catcher, and Chris goes down to second base. That ball bounced a foot and a half in front of the plate, and Eric being anxious still swung at it. We have Chris Johnson the second base now, one out. It's count one ball, two strikes on Eric Coule. Pops it up, out of play. Count remains one ball, two strikes. Plus, <laughs> it makes a fake throw to second base, no one there to cover. <laughs> Eric gets the ball between first base, hit into the gap between first and second base. Johnson rounds third. Cabal's coming home. Slot save. Tomac scores. What's that? Why was. Eric Cooley comes through. Base hit between first and second base and drives in. Chris Johnson with the first run in this ball game. Tomac one, S Seaside zero. Batter now is Rusty Robertson playing left field. Man on first, one out. Rusty swings. Ball down away for strike one. Tomek breaks through here in the bottom of the first for a run and gets a one nothing lead. Or maybe all Scott Kilgore needs a day. Ball high. Counts one and one. Strike two. One ball, two strikes, one out, run at first. Rusty hits the ball. Ball to second base, shortstop, on to first. Called out at first, double play. Second to short to first, double play. Tillamook gets one run on one hit, bottom of the first. Score after one inning is Tillamook one, Seaside nothing. See coming up to bat. Top of the second, Seaside's up. 
Scott Kilgore pitching for Tillamook today. Bob Stockenberg up, guy who pitched the first game. Hit a grand slam home run to kind of salt the game away for Seaside. Good hitter. Ball inside. Ball one. Long fly ball to center field. Backpedaling. Off the wall. Talking bursting to second base, around the second base, hold the second base with a double. Thank you. Long fly ball out to center field. The dropped in behind Sean Hopper for a double. Talking birds on second base with no outs. Next batter is Rooney, the catcher. Looks like uh, Sean Hoffer suffered some sort of foot injury, but uh, Coach Shield went out to talk to him, and he appears to be okay. He's going to remain in the ball game. So we have Bob Stockenberg on first, second base, no outs, top of second, Tillamook leading one to nothing. Ball hit the catch at first base, right base, and double play, second base. All right. Chris Jackson catches a fly ball off of Rooney for a one out, throws the ball to second base, and doubly stuck and broke off the second base for a double play. Two down. Next batter is number 13, Blissett, the picture. Two down. Ball hit foul down the first baseline. Ball low, one and one. That's nice quickness by Chris Jackson over the first base. Get that little loop ball. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes. Top of the second, Tom McLean, one to nothing. Ball low. Two balls, two strikes. Looks like Scott's keeping the ball down, low, low and away down today. Ball hit the Timmy Zerker, knocks the ball down, nice play, over the first, three out. Nice play by Timmy Zerker, going far to his left, picking the ground ball up, easy play to first. Nice job. Just what he did the first game. Okay, here we go, Bob in the second inning. Tillamook had two nice defensive plays that top that inning to get out of that inning. First batter is Chris Jackson, the first baseman. Always seems like the guy that makes the last nice play gets up first. And here it happened again. Chris Jackson's up. Followed by Chris Spence and then Mitch Venata. Some sort of a conference here, home plate between the two men in blue and the coach from Tillamook. Nice job. We on again? Chris Jackson's first batter, junior first baseman, takes the first pitch outside and away, ball one.
Taking second pitch high and away. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Bottom second. Nice curveball right across the plate. Chris caught a little bit looking. Two balls, one strike. Chris lets it go by, low and away. Three balls, one strike. We are on the bottom of the second. Some are leading one to nothing. Another curveball, strike two. Full count. We got a full count here. This is pretty tough on left handed batter. Comes that sidearm right on top of him. Gets the ball. Up to second baseman gets up and. All right, second baseman throws the ball away. Chris Jackson safer first on the air on second baseman. Caldwell, second baseman made that throw in air. Field a pretty nice ball, then threw it away. So we've got Chris spins up with Chris Jackson on first base, top to second, no outs. Miss Venata on deck. Chris tries to sacrifice, misses the ball, strike one. Looks like they're going to sacrifice Chris Jackson down to second base, looks like. No balls, one strike. Chris Spence. Ball high. One and one. Ball high and away again. Chris holds up. Two balls, one strike. Looks like Blitz is high today. High and away all the time today. Ball low and away. Three balls, one strike. Man, Chris Jackson off of first base. On with an air. Strike two. Chris swing right through that pitch. Full count now. Full count. Ball's high. Strike ball four. Got a man on first and second now. No outs. Miss Vanetta up the plate. Sophomore third baseman. Bobby Christensen playing right field day in the hole. <laughs> Seaside coach out talking to the the Blissett, trying to settle him down. Might be some sort of a play on. Coach Shields talking to Venata. So here we are. The situation is men on first and second. Bottom of second. Nobody out. Tillmuck leading one to nothing. Bunt lays it, lays the ball down. Out of first. Nice sacrifice bunt by Mitch Venata. Laid the ball down perfectly. Pitcher had to cover the throw and throw the ball to first. One man down. And on second, third now. We've got Chris Jackson on second base. Eric, I mean, excuse me, Chris Spence on second. And Bobby Christensen now, the right fielder up. That was a nice bunt by Mitch Venata. Just far enough, the pitcher had to field and throw the ball to first. Got to. No one else do it. You hear that broadcasting on the radio. 
You guys gotta pay me five bucks to say bad things about you. <laughs> Have another conference down there between Coach Shields and Bobby Christensen. Maybe may play on here. Next better be Sean Hoffert, sophomore center fielder. Okay, here we go. First pitch is inside. Ball one. Blissa doesn't believe it. Looks at the umpire kind of screwy. We have, we have it. Ball is now. Safe at home. Suicide squeeze by Bobby Christensen gets the runner home. Chris Jackson safe at home. Right in it. So there we have the situation that Bobby Christensen lays down a sacrifice type bunt, suicide squeeze, and Chris Jackson with his excellent speed slides home ahead of the throw. Now we have runners at first and third. One out. Bottom of second. Score two nothing Tillamook, and the batter Sean Hoffert, center fielder. That was an excellent bun by Bobby Christensen. And Sean swings through a fastball, strike one. Next batter is. Lead-off hitter, Timmy Zerker. Bobby Christensen steals second base. Uh, pitch evidently was a ball. So one ball, one strike. One out. Man on second, third now. Score 2 nothing. Tillamook. Bottom of the second. John Hopper swings to miss again. Oh, that was, second pitch was a strike, so it was strike three. Hopper's out of there. That second pitch was called a ball on the scoreboard. I guess the umpire had a strike two, though. So Sean swings to miss, swings through a pitch and strike three. Two down now. And the leadoff hitter, Timmy Zerker, up. Pitch in the outside corner for strike one. High pitch, but Timmy swings out for strike two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the second, Tillamook had two nothing. Lots of twos in there. And strike three. Low outside pitch. But Tillamook comes up with another run on a squeeze play by Bobby Christian with Chris Jackson sliding across the plate. So after the two innings, score is Tillamook two, Seaside nothing. Here we are in the top of the third inning. First batter up for Seaside is number seven, Jacobs, the third baseman. Lots of enthusiasm over there in that Seaside bench trying to get something started here against Scott Kilgore. Sc strike one. Nice curveball by Scott Kilgore. That, that shut down the noise over in the bench for a second. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. First batter here in the top of the third inning. Ball low and away. Ball one. Oh, throw and change the pace. And way out in front for strike three. One down. Nice pitch by Scott Kilgore. Number two hitter this inning is number five, Caldwell. Plays second base. One down, top of the third.
Low and outside, ball one. Pretty close. Ball just inside. Ball two. Top of the third, one out. Ball hit. Second to the first baseman, Chris Jackson, on the fly. Two down. Scott and Jim call well, and he hit off the end of the bat right down to Chris Jackson. Two down. Top of the third. Tillman leading two to nothing. Next batter is Gilbertson. Center fielder. Strike one. Two down, top of the third. Ball hit down to the second baseman, Timmy Zerker. Feels the ball, bobbles it, throws it. Too late. Air. Throws the ball away, but Gilbertson can't advance. Easy ground ball that Timmy just couldn't pick the ball up. Must have ball must have went out of bounds, so he gets out of second base automatically. So we have two errors in that play. One on the fielding the ball and one on the throw of the ball. Two down, men on second base. And the batter is number one, Vaughn, left fielder. Ball down and away, ball one. Ball's high. Ball's high, ball two. So we got two balls, no strikes, two outs. Top of the third, Tillamook leading two to nothing. Next pitch is popped up, deep left field, ball's out of play. Caught by left fielder Rusty Robinson for a third out. So, Vaughn hits the ball to foul territory in left field. Rusty Robinson comes in and makes a nice one-handed catch. So, top of the third, no runs, no hits. Two errors, and the score still is Tillamook 2, Seaside nothing. So in the bottom of the third, Tillamook leading 2 to nothing, and the first batter up is Chris Johnson playing shortstop. Tillamook seems to play a much better game this game than did the first game. Well, they didn't play too bad the first game. Chris Johnson hits a pop up to right fielder. Right fielder ripping in and makes the catch for one out. So we're in the top of the third, one out. As Chris Johnson flies out to short right. Next batter up now is Eric Cooley, the catcher. Let the ball go outside for ball one. Eric hit a two-run home run in the first game to tie the game up. Oh, one ball, one strike. Hits the ball hard over the ball over the right fielder's head. Going in, ball comes in the second cutoff and Eric Cool is in the second base with a double. Hits the ball hard over Westrom's head out in the right field. Eric's really hitting the ball well this year. Next batter is left fielder Rusty Robertson. So we have it here in the bottom of the third, one out. Eric Cooley on second base.
Pericles off second base. Pitch is a slow curveball. The Rusty's out in front of. Strike one. On deck batters, Chris Jackson, first baseman. With Chris Spence in the hole. No balls, one strike. Bottom the third. Eric Cooley on second base. Strike two. What do you do? I couldn't. So we have no balls, two strikes, one out, bottom third. Ball's low. Eric Cooley is going up from third base, goes to the third base, standing up on a pass ball by the catcher. So now we have a situation is that Eric Cooley's on third base, with one out, one ball, two strikes on Rusty Robertson, left fielder. Foul to barely got any of that pitch. Foul it off. Stay in there. One ball, two strikes. Here he gets a small lead off of third base. One ball, two strikes. Foul it off again. Count still stays at woo. Off the roof of a car out there in the parking lot. One ball, two strikes. Looks like lots of insurance money today on these cars in the parking lot. Rusty's hanging tough in there at one and two. Fouling off a couple pretty good pitches. Oh, and he's get fooled on a slow curveball and strikes out for the second out inning. Two down. Eric Cooley still at third base. Okay, Chris Jackson, first base him up now with Eric Cooley on second, third base, two down. First pitch is nice swing, but misses it. Strike one. Chris Jackson hits a long shot. And the center fielder wanders around out there and finally drags it down. Chris Jackson just powders the baseball, and the center fielder, after wandering around, finally drags it down for the third out. So we have bottom of third, one hit, no runs, no errors, and the score. That's the score after three full innings is Tillamook two, Seaside nothing. Top of the fourth, Scott Kilgore still pitching a shutout. Gets some great defense behind him in this game. A lot of great plays being made by the whole team. First batter is Bill Westerholm, the right fielder. First pitch is strike one. Westerholm doesn't believe it, looks back at the umpire, but strike one. Ball's popped up. Chris Jackson fades back on the ball and makes the catch. One down. Nice play by Chris Jackson fading back on the ball. That's a tough play for a first baseman. Looks like he's holding his neck like he's got a crink in his neck. Yep. Next batter is Tommy Adams. He's just a great ball player for Seaside. Hit the ball hard in the first game. Got robbed a couple times. Scott Kilgore is ready. Here comes the first pitch. Tommy Adams swings through a good breaking ball. Top of the fourth. Two nothing favor Tillamook. One out. No balls, one strike on Tommy Adams, shortstop. A little outside, one and one. Mm -hmm. 
Second pitch is just hit like a line in, into the gap. Got between center field and right fielder. Sean Hoffer gets the ball out of center field and gets the ball in. And no cutoff man. Hit the no cutoff man. Tommy Adams goes into third base. Sean Hoffer throws the ball in for center field but misses a cutoff man and allows Tommy Adams to go into third base. So, situation is top of the fourth, one out. Tommy Adams at third base. Batters Bob Stockenberg playing first base this game. Pitched the first game. Hit a grand slam home run in the first game, so he's a tough hitter. Tommy Adams lead off the third base. Miss Manatis hold him. First pitch is low and away. Ball one. Tommy Adams really crushed that ball in the gap. And we're all hit right at right at the right fielder. Tommy Adams tags up and scores. Ball hit very hard, but right at the right fielder, Chris Spence makes the catch and gets the ball back in. But Tommy Adams tagged up at third base and scores Seaside's first run of the game. Score now is now is Seaside one, Tillamook two. Tom makes the peel play at third base, but evidently Tommy Adams didn't leave too early. So we have two outs now, no one on base, and the batter is. The catcher Rooney. Strike one. Ball outside. One and one. Two down. Top of the fourth. Still like leading two to one. Ball hit the short left field. Sean Hoffer's out there. Feels it. Gets the ball for three outs. All right. Seaside breaks through here with one hit, one error. So the score now after three and a half innings is Tillamook two, Seaside one. Bottom of the fourth. Tillamook leading two to one. First batter is Chris Spence, the right fielder. Second battle will be Mitch Venata. And Bobby Christensen's in the hole. Excellent ball game here between two pretty fair ball clubs. First base, first hit, base hit, center field. Reese Allen just poked that ball right in the center field. First pitch hit. It wasn't really a great swing, but just reached out and met the ball. Sent it right off the center field. Next batter is Mitch Venata, third baseman. Got a base hit the first time up. No, oh, excuse me, sacrifice the first time up. This ball hard. Basket catch out in the center field by the center fielder. Ball hit well. Basket catch. Rips the ball hard. So we have one down now. Chris Spence is still on first base. Missed hit the ball well that time. About 300 feet. Center fielder looked up and looked at what I got in my glove type situation. So one down. Batter now is Bobby Christensen, the right fielder. Hits the ball hard again. Base hit. Between. Chris Pence goes into third base. Nice base hit by Bobby Christensen right over the second baseman's head. We have mid runners on first and third. One out. Tillman leading two to one, bottom of the fourth.
Sean Hoffert's the batter. Now center fielder over talking to uh, Coach Randy Shields. Some sort of strategy here. Timmy Zirker's the next batter, and Chris Johnson in the hole. Sean Hoffert steps in. One out. Men on first and third. Tillamook leading 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the fourth. Runners going down to second base. No throw. Throw did go down, but kind of a decoy throw. Stolen base for Bobby Christensen. We have runners on second and third now. One out. Bottom of the fourth. Tillamook leading 2-1. to one. Ball one on that first pitch. One ball, no strikes. Runner second, third, one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Still look leading two to one. Steel side squeeze again. Double play. Pop the ball up. Pop the ball up. Pitcher made a diving catch. Threw the ball back to third base. Steel side squeeze. Runner was coming all the way. So, no run on two base hits. On a nice double play by the pitcher and third baseman. Score after four completed innings is Tillamook 2, Seaside 1. Here we go to the top of the fifth. Tillamook leading 2-1 to one still. Missed a golden opportunity there in the bottom of the fourth to score when that button just wouldn't get down on the ground for Sean Hoffert. Pitcher made a heck of a play to dive and catch the ball in the air and then made the easy throw to third base for the double play. First batter is number 13, Blissett, the pitcher. First pitch is foul off into the screen. Didn't get around on Scott that time. No balls, one strike. Top of the fifth. Still McLeodine, two to one. Just turn the lights on here. You wouldn't have believed at 3.30 this afternoon we could have had a ball game, let alone two. Second pitch is outside, one and one. All right, nice pitch, strike two. Low and outside on the corner. Pretty tough for left-hander to hit, hit. And he swings and misses, strike three. Watch the catch ball, throws down to first. One away. Has a pitcher that time, Blister completely confused on that pitch. One down, top of the fifth. One out. Tim look leading two to one. Next batter is Jacobs. Third baseman. It's a big pop up to center field. Sean Hoffer settles under it. Worries about it. And now it makes a catch. Two down. A two down now. Top of the fifth. And the next batter will be number four. Five Caldwell, the second baseman. First pitches, low and away. Ball one. Two out here in the bottom, in the top of the fifth. Two out, top of the fifth. Still looking two to one. One ball, no strike on Caldwell, our second baseman for Seaside. Next pitch is right down the middle. Strike. Fastball down the middle for one and one. Scott is really challenged the batter's night. Give him nothing. Just another breaking pitch. Caldwell never had a chance. One ball, two strikes, two out, top of the fifth. Oh, just outside. Carl wanted to swing up, but just held up. Two and two. Two down. Low and outside. Gets away. No one on base. No one hurt. 
Count goes full for the first time today, I think, on Kilgore. Three balls, two strikes. Two out, top of the fifth. Kilmock still leading two to one. And foul tip drops the ball. Eric Cooley drops a foul tip, third strike. But Cole stays alive. And strike three. Scott Kilgore throws a fastball right call, right by Caldwell for the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors. Score after four and a half innings is Tillamook two, Seaside one. The ball in the fifth, fifth, first batter is leadoff hitter Timmy Zerker. Tillamook leading two to one. Top of the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth. Timmy swings through a fastball. Strike one. It falls inside, one and one. No out here in the bottom of the fifth. Still must be two to one. Chris Johnson's on deck, and Eric Kula catcher in the hole. Oh, fouls off his foot. That can be painful in a cold night like tonight. One ball, two strikes. Timmy Zerker swings through a fastball for strike three. One out. Ooh. <laughs> Next batter up now is Chris Johnson, short stop. Chris Johnson swings through a fastball. Strike one. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Chris Johnson up. Ball's low, breaking pitch. Chris didn't bite on it. One and one. It's a tough pitch to lay off of. Pitch outside. Two balls, one strike. Bomb the fifth one out. Tillamook leading two to one. Next pitch, hit, hit, hit right to the first baseman. Takes the ball himself, touches first base. Two down. Chris Johnson hit that ball off in the back and just squibbed it down there to the first baseman. Easy play. Two down here in bottom of the fifth. Batter now is Eric Cooley, the catcher. Last one up, he hit a long fly ball to the center field. The center center to the circus catch and found the ball in his glove somehow. Follows that first pitch off. Strike one. Closer. Two down, bottom of the fifth. No balls, one strike on Eric Cooley. Swings the bad pitch, two strikes. Didn't show much patience that time. Press the ball. Oh, third baseman makes a great catch. Eric Cooley hits it right on the line. Third baseman takes one step, reaches up, and snags it. Excellent play by their third baseman. So, bottom of the fifth, no runs, no hits, no errors. And the score after five complete is Seaside 1, Tillamook 2. Top of the sixth, Tillamook still leading 2-1. to one. Who's batting for Gilbertson? Finicky's batting for Gilbertson here in the top of the six. Number 11. Top of six. Two to one Tillamook. Scott Kilgore battling Blissett. Kilgore leading two to one. 
Strike. Pitch low and away. Just caught the knees. That's when Kilgore's is toughest, when they get that pitch there. Ball hit short center field. Out to Sean Hoffert. Sean Hoffert's coming in and makes the catch. Sean Hoffert's out there battling those lights every fly ball, but he hasn't missed one yet. So we got one down here in the top of the six as Benke flies out to Sean Hoffert in center field. Batter now is number one, Vaughn, the leadoff hitter, plays center left field. One down, top of six, Tillmuck leading two to one. Ball's outside, ball one. Ball right down at the knees, strike one. That's when Kilgore's is tough was to get that ball down and away, just at the knees. One ball, one strike, one out here, top of the six, Tillmuck leading two to one. Ball's high, ball two. Two balls, one strike. Ball right down the middle for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Looks like these batters are looking for something and getting something else every time. Cougar really got them off stride. Breaking pitch right down the middle. Batters looking for a fastball. Got the old slur curveball. Two down. And the batter will be number nine, Billy Westerholm. Right fielder. Two down here in the top of the six. Scott Kilgore looks just as tough as ever. Just throwing an excellent baseball game. First pitch just popped up to the right fielder. Goes out there. Bobby Christensen fades on the ball and drops that ball. Is gonna, Westerholm goes into second base and makes a turn, steps back in second base. Big, lazy fly ball that Bobby Christensen somehow dropped out there in right field. So we still have two down. Two down. Man on second base. The tough hitter and Tommy Adams coming up. So Scott's going to have to pitch himself out of a tough situation right here with Adams up. And they're going to intentionally walk Adams. That gives a force now at all the bases. Now a force, which he didn't have before, and now another good hitter in Stockenberg's coming up. Smart move by Coach Shields, I believe, though. Gives a force at all the bases, takes a good right-handed hitter away. And now Stockenberg. The first baseman's up. Two down. Runners on first and second. Top of six. Tillamook leading two to one. Tough situation right here for Tillamook. Play to first base. Looks like he had a mound, but the umpire calls him safe. Very close play at first base. Very close play. Chris Jackson snuck in from behind, almost tagged him out. His, his way foul left field. Way foul. Long fly ball, but way foul left field. Stockenberg couldn't even get near get around on the kill going that pitch. So we have no ball, one strike, with two outs here at the top of the six, two men on base for Seaside. Ball 
Ball's inside, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs, top of six. Hits a ground ball, chopper to second baseman, over to Jimmy Zerker to first base, and gets him out of the inning. All right. Scott Kilgore really jammed Stokenberg that time. Hit him an easy, lazy ground ball to Timmy Zerker, who flipped over to first for the third out of the inning. So we have no runs on no hits. One error to score after five and a half is Tillamook two, Seaside one. Bottom of the six, Tillamook still leading two to one. Scott Kilgore made a really nice pitch on Stokenberg and jammed him that time. Made him hit a easy ground ball to Timmy Zerker. For the third out of that last inning, that was a tough situation. Scott Kilgore showed his all-star class by getting out of that. First bat of this inning is David Canterham hitting for Rusty Robertson. First pitch is Lowe's. Ball one. Pretty close. Bottom of six here. No one out. David Cameron up. First hitter in the inning. Next pitch is strike one. Fastball down the middle. David just couldn't make connection with. One ball, one strike. No, 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 no. David held up with the umpire call strike two. We got one ball, two strikes, nobody out here in the bottom of the sticks. Tillamook leading two to one. Ball hit. Tommy Adam Short hops the ball. And he's safe. Tommy has to throw the ball high. David Cameron is safe at first base. David hustle, really hustled down that line. Got in there by just a half a step. Tommy Adams made a nice short hop on that ball, but just took too much time and threw a little high. So what we have here is man on first base, no out, bottom of six, and Chris Jackson's up. Junior first baseman. Ball's low and away, ball one. Chris Spence is up next, and then Mitch Banana's in the hole. Ball's outside, ball two. All right, slow down, slow down. Two balls, no strikes. Nobody out here. Bottom of six, David Cameron on first base. Oh, fuck. David Cameron's been picked off first base. Nice move by Bliss and have David Cameron just stuck off first base, didn't have a chance. So I would erase that air. We have now we have one down, nobody on base. Count on Chris Jackson still two balls, no strikes. Those left handers are pretty tough. Uh, move to first base and looks like they're going home. Chris Jackson hits the ball hard over the right fielder's head, going to the wall, off the wall. Chris Jackson is running first, going into second base. Standing up with a double. All right, nice hit. Hit the ball off the 320 sign. One bounce is just cruising the second base with a stand-up double. Batter now is Eric Chris Spence. Chris Spence up and Miss Fanata in the hole. Tillamook has a chance to score an insurance run here with one out. First pitch is inside. One ball, no strikes, one out. Bottom to six. Tim Look leading two to one. And Chris Jackson's on second base. Second pitch is a fly ball, hit to right field. West Rome catches the ball. And now Chris is going to third base. Stands up. 
Ooh, almost trips and falls. Didn't look very athletic, but he made it. Long fly to right field. The Western caught was two out now. Two out, bottom of six. Chris Jackson over on third base. Mitch Banana's up now. Bobby Christensen on deck. Last time up, Mitch had a ball deep to center field. The center fielder made a circus catch. Ooh. Ball is hit, missing the leg. He's on first base. Doesn't seem to shake off the effects of that. He's him right, right below the knee. So now what we have is run on first and third, two outs, and Bobby Christensen up. Sean Hoffert in the hole. On deck, not in the hole, he's on deck. If Bob Christians can get a base hit here, it'll be a big insurance run for the top of the seventh. First pitch is inside and high. Ball one. Two down here. Bottom of six. Runners on first and third. Two out. One ball, no strikes. Tillamook still clinging to a two to one lead. Oh, ball was high, but Bobby swung at it. So now we got one ball, one strike. Blitz is taking plenty of time out there. One ball, one strike. Ball's high, swing at it again for two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Two out, bottom of six. Chris Jackson at third base, Miss Vanette at first base. Chris Jackson is that insurance run until Mike really needs here. Christensen steps back in the box now. I have a pinch runner now for Mitch. Banata first. Kevin Miller, real fast runner for Tillamook's team. Probably the first or second fast runner on the team. It's a pinch runner for Mitch at Fish at first base. One ball, two strikes, two out. Ball hit the third base. Ball hit the third base. Throw over to first. Throws over to first. And third out of the inning. Bobby Christian hit the ball hard, but right at the third baseman. So, we got one run. No runs that inning. One hit. No errors by Seaside. Score after six completed innings is... Tillamook 2, Seaside 1. Top of the seventh, Tillamook still leading 2 to 1. All we need to do is three outs here, and we'll have a split of this doubleheader. Scott Kilgore has pitched a great baseball game. If it hadn't been for one missed cutoff throw, he'd be leading 2 to nothing right now. First batter is number number 3, the catcher Rooney. Pitched the first ball to center field, one bounce. Ball gets cut off by Robertson and brought in. On base with a single. Rooney hits the ball right over the shortstop's head. Cut off by Rusty Robertson, left fielder. And so. So what we have now is here we have the top of the seventh. Tillamook leading two to one. But see, guys gets their first man on base. Seaside has a pinch runner, number two for Rooney. And the batter is number 13, 
Blith at the pitcher, who has a chance to help himself here right now. No one out, man on first base, top of seventh. Stomach leading two to one. Skilgore throws over to first. Number two gets back in there. Mr. Fan hit ball. Miss ball, ball hit the short third baseman. Miss Venado throws the second baseman for the force the second for one down. We got one out now. One out, still man on first base. Nice play by Miss Venado. Picked that ball up, knew where to throw the ball. Got the guy at first base, second base. Nice stop by Chris Jackson too to knock down that errant throw. One down, top of seventh. Man on first. Swing and a miss. A number. Batter's number seven, Jacobs, the third baseman. Swung at Scott's first pitch for strike one. Second pitch, breaking pitch. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. One out, one runner on. Top of the seventh, Phil McLean two to one. Scott Kilgore pitching a terrific game tonight. Scott Gill throws the ball away. Ball goes back out in the deep area. One base only on the overthrow. So now we have runner at second base on a bad pickoff throw by Scott Kilgore. Umpire calls timeout. I was talking to Scott Thor, settled him down after that wild errant throw to first base. Now we have runner second base with one out. The count is no balls, two strikes. One. No balls, two strikes, one out, runner second base. Top of seven, Tillmuck leading two to one. Foul ball, out of play. Gets about the fifth rip of the night. Count remains at no balls, two strikes. One out, top of the seventh. Strike three. Threw a fastball right by him for the second out of the inning. Now we've got two down. Two down, top of the seventh. One more out until Mook can get out here with a split of this doubleheader. Seaside. Better now is number five, Caldwell, the second baseman. <laughs> okay, single to center field by Caldwell. Ball is brought in directly in for cutoff man Scott Kilgore, who cuts the ball off. Now still have now we have him in a first and third, two outs. Caldwell finally comes through with a hit. Two down. Runners in first and third. And the batter is number 10, Sean Gilbertson. And a ball hit down by Gilbertson down to, Sean, to Chris Jackson, the first baseman who fields the ball and steps on first base for an easy third out, and Tillamook gets out of here with a 2-1 to one victory. Scott Kilcore in a great baseball game.